Welcome back to Gopher Football with Jerry Kill. I'm Natalie Nias. This weekend, the Gophers are heading to New Mexico State. The Aggies lost their season opener by seven touchdowns, but it was to Texas, who are currently ranked 15th in the nation. To find out what the Gophers can expect from New Mexico State on Saturday, Mike Max joined Coach Kill in the film room. Thanks very much. The University of Texas and New Mexico State opened the season. Texas doing some of what you would like to do each and every week, which is in this case they start, they want to run the football up the middle with some zone reads. No, no, no question here. Uh, they're running zone give. They're not going to read the defensive in here, but they're going to block him uh, with their H back and they hit it down the pipe here. Uh, New Mexico State's in a 50 form. They've walked their back or they got them spread, but they're more of a 50 defense. He'll walk down in here and roll him down some, but they catch him walked out. And, uh, you know, Texas is a pretty physical football team, and they hit him up inside. No, the nose just doesn't quite make the play. But, uh, you know, they're, they're big and strong. Their backers are thick backers. Their best player they got removed, so that's smart by Texas. They got number two out of there, got him out in the secondary. But, again, they're – He's coming down, get the kick, and then Texas, a big, they're very good up front. They do a good job here holding their ground. Right here, he gets a pretty good clamp in there on 56. I noticed that too, 56, <laughs> he got a little uh, argument there. Yeah, uh, because if, if, if right here, if 56 is able to get where he should be, then it's a dead play and uh, they have to come off on it. So I'd say that's good, a good grab there by the good University grab. of Texas. Now, now <laughs> New Mexico State's gonna run the pistol. They, they're running the pistol offense and, and uh, doing with some success. Same thing we just, just same thing we just showed that we yep. did. Here they are gonna roll the wing and they're rolling him to the safety. Reading the end he squeezes and he should pull the ball and there's the crease and that's exactly, um, you know, uh, Texas has got one extra player over here that uh, UNLV didn't. Yep. But uh, that's exactly the same thing we're running, and uh, it's basically an option football play. You know, we talk about defending the no huddle and this and that, but what about option football? How difficult is that to defend as opposed to the team that throws uh, three out of four downs and all that? Because you are leaving it in the quarterback's hands, and if he's a good decision maker, it's difficult. It is, and it's a great equalizer. If you're, if you're not as big and strong, you use the Air Force, people like that run it. Yeah. Uh, it's a great equalizer. Lou Holtz certainly, uh, when he was here and through his career, did a great job with the option. Uh, Ricky Foggy yep. and back in those memories. But it's a great equalizer. Uh, there's nobody to defend that guy in the run game. You can't play 12 players. And he's that, you know, he, he can, with him being able to run a football, that's, that's harder on the defense. That's why you see all the NFL teams putting just a little bit in it. Yep. And they don't want to get their quarterback hurt, but they're, yep. doing, it, they're <laughs> doing it enough to keep people honest. So uh, it's, uh, it's an equalizer and, and an advantage to the offense. The Gophers and Aggies kick off this Saturday at 7 p.m. You can listen to the game on KFAN, watch it live with the btn to go app, or watch the tape delay broadcast on Fox Sports North. Coming up, an exclusive preview of Brick by Brick. Now you just gotta go play. You owe that to yourselves and your teammates.